A full count of three and two on Kingman. Well, I'd like to see him get a hold of one and get his second home run of the year right here. Give McLaughlin and Herman Franks and the Cubs a little breathing room. Rogers now into the windup. Swing and a five ball deep to left center. Way back, way back, way back. Kiss it goodbye, a home run. Almost called it. A long home run by Kingman. I had a feeling, three and two, that he was going to come in there with a fastball, and Kingman drilled it over the left center field fence. Now that has to be close to 400 feet away, and the Cubs are happy with that one. Here's Kingman's home run. Watch this little swing on it. You see how he sort of was inside and he squeezed his neck against the shoulders? So it wasn't really, I was right in saying that it wasn't really a Kingman swing, but nevertheless, there it goes, 400 feet out of the ballpark. Not bad, is it? The Cubs won it five to one. Pretty early in the game. Cubs trailed three to one in the third when Kingman unloaded after an intentional walk to Buckner. That's it. Way back, 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 back. Hey, hey! A grand slam home run for Kingman. The Cubs lead in the ball game. Woo, boy. April 20th, 1979, the third inning at Wrigley Field. Bases full, Kingman hits his eighth Grand Slam career home run, and the Cubs now take a 5-3 to three lead. Oh, look at the look he just gave William. <laughs> I'll give it to you. You walk somebody to get to me. May's two home runs left. The next day, the Cubs in Montreal are scoreless in the fourth inning. Kingman to lead off. The fans finally, finally settling back in their seats. He swings. Hey, there's one tag. That is gone. Out of the ballpark. Holy macro. What a shot by Dave Kingman to make it three to nothing. Number six of the year for the big giant. He comes stripping the bases in a hurry. Already stepped in home plate. In this season. The Cubs lost it three to two. The following evening, the Cubs trailed the Braves five to two in the fifth inning. The 
a super double play by the Braves who've not been noted for their defense. 1 0 delivery. Swung out a high deep shot to right center field. Went helping a bit. Way back, way back is Bonnell. He and Matthews leap. And Matthews went over the fence and came up with the ball. Gary Matthews, a sensational leaping catch in which he went over that six foot high fence. Had the glove way out over the fence as he made a spectacular soaring leap at a backhanded grab. He was about three feet up in the air, and Gary is getting a standing ovation. One, and Dave Kingman is up. Two men. So it's seven to one, Phillies. That's it. Way back there. Straight there, Davey. Back, 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 back. That's holding across the street. Woo boy, did he tag it. Philadelphia, 17. The Cubs, 6. Buckner, he ties Kingman at the present time. Hey, kiss him goodbye. It is gone. Oh, I thought he hit the other one high. That one's in Milwaukee. That's, it hit the front porch of the third house across Waveland Avenue. Man, oh man, isn't that something? That is unreal. Kingman's third home run of the ball game, a standing ovation. And let me tell you, it's now 21 to 19. And that's the way it ended, 23 to 22. Suter is now one and one. The victory went to Raleigh. He started well enough with Dave Kingman facing John Candelaria with a man out in the first inning. The candy man's okay physically. He's probably the best pitcher in baseball. That's it. job at the Cubs on board in the fourth inning that's pretty well hit back she goes forget it back 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 hey hey a tremendous home run by Kingman Mazzilli took two sets and gave up on that one and the big guy has just walloped a home run number 14 for Kingman and now it's two to one. Betts takes out and Soder saves. Got to run off the field on the second out, the last inning. That's way too. Fly ball deep. That's way deep. Back, 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 back. Hey, hey! A home run for Kingman. The big guy finally found the range again. And that's number 15 for Kingman. Dave Kingman put foot over the left center field wall at the 375 mark. Milner went back several steps, finally realized he just had to give up. Drove in six runs in the Cubs' 8-2 victory over the San Francisco Giants at Wrigley Field today. Kingman's first homer came with two men on in the third inning. Strike one. That's more like it. That's way back there. Back she goes. Back, back, back. for Kingman. Three runs in for the Cubs. That time he got all the ball. Kingman batted with a man on in the seventh. It's kind of reflected itself when sports has had a problem in Congress. It seems to me that Congress has been pretty good. Back, 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 back with another one. Oh, he's 
Hey! <laughs> he got the message, Jack. He got the message. <laughs> Dave Kingman, bless his heart. <laughs> Dave Kingman has just put one in the seats and left, and the bleacher bums are really happy about that one. In two weeks, and he looked good. He is very wonderful thing for Kingman. A high batting average. Ball one. For the chase fair, look out. Back, back. How about it? Home run. Hey, hey. Stayed fair. Wow. Oh, did he tag that one. That's about as hard a hit ball as he's hit all year. There was never any doubt about whether it was going to go out of here. Just a question of was it going to stay fair? Boy, did he hit that one. In the sixth, Kingman got Kruko the run he needed. On the first base side. There's one hit deep to left field. Way back, way back. Turning near the wall, following the wall. He watches it. Kiss it goodbye. A home run. Kingman has really gone wild. He has home run out of the ballpark as the Cubs go on to win 10 to 3. Big Dave. He just might get 50 or 60. And here's some... That makes it even worse. That bothers me. I'm a Brewer fan. I like most people from Milwaukee, but those things happen. Look out. Here's what off the bat of Kingman, and that's going to ring the bell. Way, way up. Holy macro. Dave Kingman really nailed one, and he has shaved the Padres' lead. It is now 2-1, to one, the big guy's 21st home run of the year. He doesn't really bother with a home run truck. He's already at the play against Whitey Ford. This will be interesting. I think, and I would bet that this is the first man to hit one in the stands for a home run. Smart. He's pitching inside, making him pull a ball. He doesn't want to get anything hit through the middle of the diamond. There's it down. I win my bet. That's in the upper deck. Kiss it. Goodbye. In the third tier. <laughs> I win my bet, Jack. You owe me a dinner. <laughs> his last swing, his fifth swing, he powdered it. And Dave now with 51 runs batted in for the year. Last night in the pregame show, working against former uh, great pitchers, such as Spahn and Bob Feller, Whitey Ford. He hit one home run into the third deck, the only time it's ever been done here. Trio did every Dave swings, and there's one high down the left field line. Let's see if it's going to carry it up. It's way back, way back. It is a home run. Dave Kingman set one soaring high into the Southern California night, and down it came into the seats near the 330 foot mark. The big guys, 22nd of the year. Makes it five to two Cubs on the three and zero. Oh. This five to two Cub win on June sixteenth was the Cubs' eighth in ten games and even their season record of twenty nine wins and twenty nine losses. The Cubs are in fifth place, five and a half games behind first place Montreal. Resume action at Pittsburgh next Friday. Here's a pitch. Swung on, deep drive, left field, could be, way back, way back. It is gone. Dave Kingman has just walled up the two-run homer, his 23rd of the year, and the Cubs have grabbed a 2 nothing lead in the first inning after the first two men were retired. Let me tell you, he was fooled on the pitch. He reached out and one-handed that ball and hit a line drive right over the 330-foot marker. That's a strong man, number 10. He wound up last night when he hit a little pop-up down there that barely made it over the 330 mark. He wound up on one knee. He was so badly fooled. But that's the kind of power he has. Now Martin steps in, and he takes the fastball low and outside. The final this afternoon at San Diego, the Cubs 8. What Kingman was really talking about there is a reminder of Roger Maris, who during 61, when he hit 61, uh-oh, foul, quickly foul. He went through murder 
with the pressures being placed on him every day by interview after interview, and he wound up getting into deeper and deeper hot water. So within the recent weeks, he made a statement advising Kingman to do just what Kingman said he's been doing. Get into the clubhouse, dress, and get out. Go fishing. The one-two pitch. Oh, there's one. Uh, It went right into the very back of the Dodger bullpen. Uh, in the National League, Stodgill had 28 home runs by the end of June in 71. And in the American League, the Babe had 30 by the end of June in 28 and 30. The ball, one pitch from Bly Levin. There's one hit deep to left field. It's way back. Going, going. Kiss it goodbye. Hits into the mezzanine. Over the 375 foot marker, over 415 feet away from home plate. By Levin, following Kingman around the bases. How did he get around in that fastball, he tells himself. Well, if he looks out about 430 feet in left center, he'll find the ball. Kingman's 25th home run of the year. The next day in the first game of a doubleheader, the Cubs trail the Mets. Three to nothing in the seventh inning. Buckner on. New York with a three nothing lead in the seventh. Here's a kick to pitch. Swung on and a high fly ball. Mazzilli going back, going back, going back. It is a homer! On to the vacant center field area. And the Cubs are back in the ball game on Cleveland. 28th of the year. New York leading now three to two. There was a case where Kingman again is fooled by a pitch away. And for the 11th time this year, he has homered with two strikes on him. The count of nothing and two, and I think Hassler was trying to waste it away from him. And he just reached out. With the kind of a swing he had, I had no idea, Lou, that that ball was going to carry the way it did. Bag.
ovation. His first appearance for the Cubs since being hit by a pitch over in Atlanta prior to the All-Star break. Now, due to this injury, Kingman does not have that real good Kingman swing. Consequently, if you'll see if he'll get one or two strikes on him, he will just try to make contact and may drop a single into right center or center field. Delivery coming up from Garber to Dave Kingman. Here it is. Swung on and miss. Boy, what a cut he took out of breaking ball. One strike or two strikes on him, we may see a different swing. The pivot, the pitch. Swung on, drive into right center field. He drives up the ball game with a single to right center. Big round deal today. Cross the plate this front. There he goes. And he's got it made. The ball is left out of Corral's net. Last year he stole 50 bases, and that's why. That's a strike. Ball one, strike two. That's a fly ball to the deep left. Back, back, back. It's a home run. It's over. The Cubs win this ball game. Oh, brother. Watch this reception at the plate. Returning to action, what a spot for it. It's all over. High fly, deep back, back she goes, back, back. Hey, hey! It's a second decker. A home run for Kingman. Bang, go. won the Mets nothing. Kingman's homer is the only Cub run in the first seven innings. It's tied one to one in the eighth. The Cubs have a runner on third with two out and the Jesus up. And Dave Kingman. What a shot he hit on the first pitch thrown to him by Ellis back in the second inning. And since then, he is at a high pop-up and a high fly ball to center. Here's the pitch. Swung on, high and deep. That could be way back. Yes, sir, a bell ringer into the Cubs bullpen. And the Cubs now are leading four to one. That should be the game breaker right there. No home run trot for Dave. He's sprinting around the bases. Barry Foote is there. Kingman gives him five. I was just about to wow. say that this fellow has done out there on the mound, too. He's done a magnificent job, but during this heat, he's thrown a lot of pitches. He made a bad pitch to the Jesus in the eighth inning, and here in the ninth, they, you just lose control when you don't have that uh, energy on that mound. State. Dick Tidrow gets the win. The pitch on its way to Kingman. There's one hit deep. This game, wait a minute, sinking out in left field. It's gone. Home run, kiss it goodbye. A line drive home run over the 338 foot marker. I wasn't sure because Kingman, when he hits them that hard on the line, usually sinks. Yep. And that baby was really sinking. The homer that Dave hit off of him in the fourth inning was number 16 this year off Falcone. 
2-0 pitch. Let's see if he's up for this one. He is in a high soaring shot. If it stays fair, it's going to be out of here. It is a home run. Dave Kingman had stood transfixed the plate watching. And finally, Jim Quick said that's a homer. Kingman has just rung the bell again. Two of them here last night. And two of them here today. And that one, a tremendously high soaring shot, wound up in an area where the seats curve around. With two out in the sixth inning, he homered. So Dave, three for three today. 34 home runs for the year. Two for four last night with a pair of homers. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on, there's one. High and deep to left field. Another bell ringer for Dave Kingman. Six to four, New York. Huh? Holy mackerel. Getting a standing ovation right here from the New York Mets fans. Nothing. Three straight home runs by Kingman in this game. August 1, the Cubs have lost four in a row. At Montreal, the game is scoreless in the fifth inning. For the fifth. Grimsley from the stretch, here's the delivery. Swung on, and there's one hit. High and deep left field, it is way back. It is gone. Slow down, Mike, you don't have to sprint. That one's into the blue seats, a bell ringer. Three nothing Cubs. Is that a beautiful sight? That, I think, is the 12th time this year that on a nothing and two count, Kingman has hit one out of the ballpark. And what a reception. The next day, the Cubs trail the Cardinals 4-3 to three in the bottom of the fourth. Fly, fly, deep to left. Back, 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 back. Gambling catch. A little fly ball. There's a swing and he nailed that one. That's gone. Way, way back. Into the bleachers. Right into the big scoreboard in left center field. There was a shot about 420 feet away. For the rest of the year. There's a swing. Deep drive. Left field. Brock watches it go over the wall. The second home run of the night. It's five to three St. Louis. Kingman of Al Ringer. Boy, we wanted him up to bat in the last inning. That would have been it. Yep. Say something. Well. Despite those two home runs, the Cubs lost both games of that August 10 doubleheader in St. Louis. They are four and a half games out of first place. And the accuracy as he would have if he hadn't have slipped. And there's a high fly deep to left back. Kingman has hit one. Back, back. Hey, hey. boy, Davey. He's out of the slump. Number 40 for Kingman. But the Cubs lost this August 22nd game 7 to 2. They are in third place. Five games behind the first place Pirates. King Kong leading off as we move to the second inning. Blues first pitch went on. There's one hit deep left field. It could be. It's way back. A bell ringer. Dave Kingman's 41st home run of the air leading off. Inning number two and the Cubs have a one to nothing lead. He said, I don't know. He said, it hurts now. He says, worse than it did a couple of days ago. But it's got to feel a whole lot better now because that was a hard hit line shot way up over that. 
Hey, there's one hit deep. Kiss it goodbye into the bullpen. Kingman with his 42nd home run of the year has tied Smith now for that leadership. And from his swings tonight, he's back in the groove. But the Cubs lost five to four.